Alright. That's the plan. Hopefully the plan can actually go well. Um... I'm gonna just buy everything in the shop. Should get us a W in the start. Hopefully? Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. But I do want a broom, so I will sell that sword. I'm glad I got that sword on sale. The sword was never on sale, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. I don't think we're taking this W. He's got three foods. He's got a better weapon. Um, he's also got blind and... Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunate. But there goes our broom, which is good. We can also get space here. And this is on sale, which is great. Spike shields, next round. Um... And yeah, <laughs> so far decently okay. Triple piggy, wow. I know your economy is amazing. Having three pigs on the second round? That means you got two pigs on one round. That's pretty nutty. I'm glad I was able to stamp you out though. I got me on piggy and I got a second box of riches. That's pretty insane in its own right, honestly. I might just go economy here. <laughs> I just gotta push for economy. Fuck winning. Push for economy. <laughs> Definitely lo I'm not even gonna- I'm just gonna skip that though. Definitely losing. Not even close. But economy is superior. Um, roll. We'll buy space as well. We'll double up on space here. And that way, we can move our economy over and have a few free slots for some actual DPS. Nice. <laughs> He's like the opposite of me. Hopefully my spike shows can just be like a massive W right now. I think we win this. I think our poison's ramping up fast enough. And spike shows as well. Yeah. Okay, that helped. Oh, well, that's expensive. It's mighty expensive. I can actually buy that. I'm gonna buy it. Close one? Yeah. <laughs> that was actually really close. <laughs> but I chose economy. <laughs> Spike Shields is in my favor. You got three different forms of DPS? <sighs> no, we still lost due to poison. <clears throat> wow. Economy. I can't, I can't stop saying that, bro. I don't know why. Economy. Uh, well, technically I would have enough money, but even, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pass. I'm gonna keep baking on my economy until the very last minute when we got one health, and then, and only then. <laughs> All right, now, 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 now we, ooh. Even better. Okay. Do, 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 do. Honestly, we could get that one too. Go, boom, boom. Something like that. Um, and then we'll just do food here. Even though we kind of can't do well, technically we could. No more economy. Sadly. <laughs> yeah, we should probably buy that. So, sell you, 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 and the piggy. Or you know what? Let's just sell these two. Health potion or piggy? Health potion or piggy? Never know, I guess. Alright, 
We can't lose. We will not lose this one. Definitely gonna win. Our DPS is better. Our healing is better. We're better. Exactly. Oh, you're on sale? Bless you. Could've gotten a Bloodthorn. That's your ban from the server? <laughs> you started it. I deserve no ban ever. <clears throat> Do we win this? Oh, you gotta stop the poison. We can do this. We can do this. A little bit more. A little bit longer. Uh, I'm upset. Okay, though. Okay. I'm gonna get, car I'm gonna get cards. Yeah, I also need that. Give me space. Give me better space. Oh. Baby, a triple. We're definitely beating this guy though because that's all he has it was just a shovel there's no way we lose to just a shovel that's being amplified with a steel goobert all right apparently fitting shows some graphics it's pretty awesome just tedious link me or send him in a discord service so i can look at him when you're done yes we beat the shovel yes we beat the shovel to see the day that actually happening though. That is the question. That is the question. I wonder if it's better to put fanny packs on food versus weapons. Because it probably has a stronger effect on the food versus the weapons. Right? 10% faster is shaving off more seconds off of a banana than it is a magic staff. Or better yet, it's shaving off more seconds off of 5 seconds versus 2 seconds. I think 10% of 2 is 0.2. So it's shaving off 0.2 seconds. And 10% of 5 is 0.5, right? I think so. So then it's shaving off 0.5 seconds. I actually wondered that. 
that's how that works. I don't think I should put it there though. It makes things complicated. I'll just keep you there. I'll go back to making this stuff because I gotta make at least three more today. So I'm gonna be a blast music and lurk. Hell yeah. I'm excited to see them. This sounds interesting. Mana thirst or mana thirst on a few daggers. Dangerous stuff, man. Dangerous stuff. Not dangerous enough. Thank you. Thankfully. All right, unhealing build. If I can live to see the day, we might actually be able to make this work. I got this for no reason. <laughs> Quite literally got it for no reason. sell it, but I kind of don't want to. another mana orb <clears throat> I feel like I should just for the simple fact of this having always uptime because I don't know if that's enough mana generation for this to always have uptime I don't think it is I'm not gonna sweat it not gonna sweat it. Sixty-five <laughs> percent uh -huh. uh -huh. chance. He's gonna reach that twenty-five and become invulnerable. Or we can kill him. That's bad. At least he's out of stamina for most of it. That's good. How are we out of stamina though? What the fuck? We killed him. How are we out of stamina? Can I get uh, a blood goober, please? Nope. Slap him right in the face! Right in the fucking face! <laughs> Hell yeah. a better spot to put this actually don't know I need vampiric armor I should probably put this armor next to there right <laughs> At least that'll give me mana to start with. I 
Okay, hopefully that'll be enough for whoever I fight. I don't like that guy. I don't like the way this looks. Crossblades. Not the biggest fan of crossblades. Hey, but we... Okay, I was about to speak too soon. We did it though. Man, I could get double moon shield. I could legitimately get a double moon shield, bro. Funny thing is, I probably should. has another activator too. If I can set this up properly. Hmm. This looks so ugly. <laughs> That's okay. That is okay. <laughs> um, I guess here. That sucks. onto something got potential okay it's got potential here's potential i'm seeing i get a degen give me a degen here's potential i'm seeing besides the lack of a vampiric <laughs> uh freaking blood amulet besides the lack of a blood amulet there's potential i'm seeing jesus christ <laughs> I'm pretty sure we did that much purely because of the, the lovers. I think um, having the leather armor there gave us enough uh, mana from the moon shield in order for this to insta proc. So then when the lovers went out, we pretty much did 22, 44, uh, 66 damage. That's my guess because this gains 72. Um. So, wait, what? Yeah, wait, what? Uh, what? Confused. Because it says it only did 11. Did 11, regenerate 18. Why'd you regenerate 18? Because you stole. And then your healing is amplified. Or were you supposed to deal another 18 because of unhealing? Oh, this wasn't out yet. Yeah, this wasn't activated yet. Okay, that makes sense. It wasn't activated yet. So when did you activate? Because I know you activated. There's no way we didn't have... We have eight mana right here. I guess... Okay, so you activate it here. 
And then you stole life, so you dealt 16 damage. And then dealt 14 damage because of the Goobert healing. Huh. Well, I know it worked because these did 29. <laughs> so those, those did 29 instead of 11. So I guess uh, this is just too fast. It's faster than a 1.5 second Staff of Unhealing. Which I guess makes sense because this card reveals at 1.5 and this one's at 1.54. So I would literally have to make the Staff of Unhealing 0.4 seconds faster so that this can do 29 damage instead of 11 and it's already inside of three fanny packs i guess i just need a gloves of haste or take it outside of the storage coffin and put the last little bit in the fanny pack that other gloves of haste armor is op it really is and now i'm getting this other moon armor that's gonna be even more mana i just wish i could get vampiric armor right now or at least a Blood Goober. Both would be good. But that was a lot of damage it did. Yeah, they pretty much did 60 damage. Two of them did 60 damage right there. Could have been 90. Could have been 90. So pretty cool. Oh, there goes my Blood Goober. No, you combined! Why did you combine? Uh... Oh, oh my god, I didn't want you to. I need you to convert the fucking regeneration into vampirism, bro. Oh, that sucks. Maybe it'll be okay. It was still pretty kind of cool. <laughs> Ew. That looks dangerous. It's a lot of blind. On the bright side, I guess we don't really rely on being blinded, though. Look how much damage I did at the beginning. <laughs> okay. Did I stumble across something? Because this is actually kind of working. So, like, go against a build that has a uh, healing is reduced. <laughs> And then we're fucked. Kind of fucked on space, too. Maybe I should move this. Hmm. And that, that's a whole extra... You know thing that I could use. Where would I move it to? That was the question. Hopefully it's fast enough now that it'll just catch this. Let's see. Okay, not unhealing, which is good. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. Okay, fencing, fencing, rapier. Not the most OP item in the game, but still pretty strong. We also got another moon shield. <clears throat> Yay. Oh, each time that card flips, it just deals more and more damage. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, hold up. <laughs> okay, okay, question mark. Damn, 33, 30, oh, 31, 31, 31, 31. The last one didn't even get to go off. <laughs> oh, wow. It's kind of great. <laughs> 31, 31, 31, 31, 31. I just need like big old damage. Pretty much 120 damage. I just need more red jewels to make uh, the healing amplified. Pretty much got everything we want. I mean, I wasn't expecting it a double moon shield, but I will take a double moon shield. Now I just need red jewels, right? It's the only thing we're slacking on is red jewels and maybe more lovers if I can fit them. There's gotta be a way for me to sort this better if I can figure that out. Um, I'm gonna buy this just to buy it. Just in case I start sorting things and I can figure out how to make it better. Oh, that sucks. No red jewels. Um... If I tilted this like that, and then just move this up there. Huh. That didn't work. Now I just need a fanny pack. bit of space but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to still do it um... unless I back it up again back the thing up I shot a fanny pack right here well technically I could do this that would work I don't think we achieved anything. <laughs> we achieved nothing. Fanny packs are underrated. More people should use fanny packs. <laughs> I don't like them. <laughs> they are useful in this situation though, when you need to, to go faster. <laughs> but I usually just prefer leather bags. They just give more slots and you're cost efficient. Imagine I was able to use the Ace of Space in this, though. And I actually made it crit. Just imagine that for a second. We can try. It's worth trying. Right? Unless the Mana Thirst just activates the crit instead. <laughs> the Mana Thirst, imagine that. Just the Mana Thirst <laughs> stealing the crit. It probably will. But it's worth a shot. This one's a little bit more dangerous since he's got the cap of discomfort. But maybe we'll be fine because none of the cars flipped and he's already lost his shield. Well, one of them flipped, but still. We're getting more than enough uh, mana now. Or maybe not. Well, maybe so. Let's keep on flipping cards. Keep on flipping. Flip! Another 30 damage, coming hot. Flip! <laughs> Just loses 30 health. And the game has started. <laughs> and you're dead. <laughs> so that time, they did 28 damage, probably because of that thing.
I wonder why they're different. I wonder why there's a difference. Why were these two 17? And these three were 28. Wait, wait, wait. Why? Was it because the unhealing staff wasn't activated already? That's impossible, though. Right? Okay, so healing staff activates. And then the first card goes off, which dealt eight damage and then dealt another nine damage. So it was definitely, it was, de it was definitely affected by the unhealing staff. So why did these do more damage then? They stamped out every single attack. Did they? <laughs> You're unkillable. Hell yeah. I didn't even look at that. They probably did, though. That's hilarious. Oh, the freaking mana thirst stole the crit. <laughs> I knew it was going to. This still doesn't tell me why uh, you did 17, 11, 17. Why? Does anyone know why? Yo, Blaze, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that, bro. Thank you. Still concerned. Why are these cards doing more? It's not because of the Ace of Spades, right? It's not because of this. Because the mana, the mana thirst stole that crit. And nothing amplified my healing after X amount of time. That was that wouldn't make sense. The only thing I can think of is if the opponent healing is reduced by 30% went away after five seconds. But that's not how that hat works, right? That's not how that hat works. This 30% reduced healing is for the entire battle, not for that five seconds, right? Right. Right. It wouldn't make sense if it was just for that five seconds. So how in the world did those three cards deal? More damage than the first two. They did 10 more, 11 more damage. I'm genuinely confused. They get a booster card before? A booster card? Are you talking about the Ace of Spades? That was the only card before these, was just the Ace of Spades. But the Ace of Spades shouldn't have increased the amount of healing these did, right? You don't know, same. The only two explanations I could think of is the Staff of Unhealing, since it's less than two seconds. Maybe the damage quadrupled. So in that 0.5 seconds, healing did quad damage, which made these three cards. That's a that's a very small margin, though, but it made these three cards do quad damage instead of double. But even so, that's a big that's not that big of a jump. It's not that big of a well. Because what is that, 11? But then the unhealing head is 30%. What's 30% of 11? 3, 4? 3, 4? It's going to be like, what, 7 or 8? With our increased healing, 8 times 2, 16, aka 17. So then when 8, 16, 24, aka 28? Ah, I don't know. I don't know. If it happens in the next battle, something is up. Something is up if, if the exact same thing happens in the next battle. I want to figure it out. Ooh. <laughs> 
That's a that's a big boy. I wonder if well, I was gonna say I wonder if it's better to put this in like in the backpack for that still tin life. It's practically gonna be still twenty life. Practically because our healing is increased by a lot already. 15, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 95 percent increase. That'd be a hundred and fifteen percent increase. Or we just use that as another stin tin life. I just gotta figure out how to min-max this situation. Maybe I can start here instead. Nope. Shields in the way. Then it'll just be a bunch of this, and then boop. Um. Unless I set the crit card out. I wish I could do this. I need the activator for the Goober. Guess I could just take the crit card out. Ace doesn't work. Yeah, it's way too. It's way too difficult to actually use. Way too difficult. Now, if I didn't have this mana thirst here, it would be a lot more practical. Because the mana thirst pretty much just uses the crit. It just it just eats the crit up. But without a mana thirst, maybe one of these cars could eat the crit up. That'd be kinda nice. Okay, but yeah, if it happens again, we'll see. We'll freaking see. Oh wow. Why Why is your torch over there? Your torch should not be over there. And one more card and you're dead. <laughs> Why is this torch over there though? Um, okay, let's see how much damage they did this time. 35, 35, 35, 35. Okay, so they all did the same amount of damage this time. So maybe it was something with the, the cap of unhealing? I don't know, but that's weird. That's the only thing I can think of. Our setup didn't change. You know? But why is this dude doing this? <laughs> you could do so much better if you just shared a little bit, you know, a little bit of love with your mana torch. Just a little bit of love is all it took. Oh, I did not want to combine you. God damn it. I guess that works. So let's dig it another one. Don't know where to put this one. Oh no. We'll figure it out. Now I know. Now I know where to put it. <laughs> Can I get this? If I do get it, where am I put it? <laughs> That's the only bad thing. Hmm. I was thinking if I moved everything up by one, then maybe it would work. Even if it did work, it seems like the enemy dies before all the cards are able to be used. That's what it's that's what it's given right now. So maybe it doesn't even matter. <laughs> if I was able to No, that's not gonna work. I still want it though. <laughs> Wish I could activate you somehow. 
Even so, I'm pretty sure the enemy's gonna die before everything is activated here. Smeljo, Thawd. How, how we do mana torch? <laughs> you put weapons next to it and you win. That's all, that's all it takes. It's an interesting matchup. I think he died. <laughs> I think he died. You have oh, you're asking how to do the combination. You need a mana. You need a mana potion. So you need a blueberry. You need a health potion. Combine the blueberry. Combine a health potion, and then the uh, you get a mana potion and combine the mana potion with the torch, and you get a mana torch. Yeah. Is this actually like? reliable in any way like would you actually be able to rock this on an actual build when an ace lights up green in a chain it'll work are you talking about like how these change like the heart is there and that's how you know it's on even are you talking about like that but no matter where it is in the chain, it's still going to crit, right? You're just not going to get the clovers and the pierce, right? Or does the actual um, does the actual crit not work? I wonder how viable this build is. Because I didn't even think this was going to work. This is actually pretty cool. 